Hi, I'm Fran Alvarez. I'm a graphic designer and illustrator based in Cainterizal, Region 4A. <laughs> and I'm here today for Design Dialogues at Home. Today, let's talk about design and illustration in children's books. I've been working as a designer and illustrator for the past 9 or 10 years. Uh, so, ngayon, even during the quarantine, on weekdays, I work with Studio Dialogo. So, we're a design studio. Um, we have our office in Quezon City, pero ngayon nasa bahay kami lahat. So, there are four of us in the team and all of us are illustrators. So, very illustration-driven yung uh, studio portfolio namin. Uh, kung pwede namin i-push na may drawing yung project, pinupush talaga namin. <laughs> Pero most of my freelance work for the past few years, uh, children's books. So, malaking part ng portfolio ko, children's books. I got my first children's book when I joined PBBY Alcala Price in 2011. So, hindi ako nanalo. <laughs> Pero, isa sa mga judges, publisher. So, I think she saw my works from the submission and then nakakuha ko ng racket from there. So, okay din kasi everybody won in the end, including me. <laughs> I think I discovered my styles. Yung, kahit yung past na styles na nakagawian ko before now. Uh, by practicing. So, nag- Yung mga joining exhibits, o kaya working on different projects over time, dun ko nakikita kung ano yung kaya kong gawin, kung ano yung gusto kong gawin, saka yung mga pwede ko pang gawin in the future. Pero in general, uh, working at a design studio also helped me expose myself and learn from others about different ways to draw and different uh, ways to think of imagery. Uh, working on children's books, halong ano yun? Saya sa ka struggle. <laughs> Kasi, say mag drawing, pero mahir mag drawing. I try to keep myself interested in a lot of different things at any given time. <laughs> para marami akong malagay sa toolbox ko. Yun yung perspective ko on that. In general, pwede ko i-categorize siguro yung influences ko into two. So, yung una is yung na-encounter ko regularly. So, yun yung memories. So, either childhood memories or memories of recent events or yung activities. So, kunwari, pre-quarantine life, commuting. So, dun galing yung ladies in Jeepneys ko na zine. Mga na-encounter kong fellow female commuters. Uh, so, yung ganun. Nakukuha ko siya from daily life. Second category is yung stuff na gusto ko pero wala. Which is cry nature. Yan. Kaya ako mahilig mag-drawing ng mga flowers, mga trees, ganun. Kasi yun yung gusto ko deep down inside. Gusto ko mag Healthy yun, I think, na you keep your sources of inspiration very varied para mas marami kang makunan ng references. Uh, kasi pag hindi, edi eh, masastuck ka lang in this weird loop na paulit-ulit lang yung chino churn out mo na work. Tapos pare-pareho lang magiging itsura. Tapos, diba, magiging stagnant na. So, we're here at my desk. So, this is my immediate working environment. So, I have all my materials here. And mostly pencils. So, I have all my colored pencils here. And then, yung iba-ibang kinds of other pencils like yung mga soft and hard lead ganyan I like working in complete silence uh, lalo na pag yung early stages when I really have to think yung character studies yung thumbnails gusto ko naririnig yung sarili ko mag-isip so yung peak working hours ko is 12 am onwards yung tulog na yung mga tao I keep a sketchbook always 
on hand or kahit hindi naman siya proper sketchbook basta paper just so when i think of something kahit hindi drawing kahit note lang or idea hindi naman siya for anything in particular naisip ko lang na ah, magandang line yon baka pwede kong i-develop into an artwork later on or ah cute yung hair na yan kaya may makita ko uh, in public, parang pwede kong gamitin yan as reference later on in a children's book. So, yung mga ganong details. Okay, i i lagay. So, ito, I keep a sketchbook with just notes. and parang rough thumbnails. So, mga ganyang kalus. Hindi kailangan, I'm not one of those people who keeps pristine sketchbooks. Dati, oo. Pero, napaparalyze ako eh. Parang Ayoko nang malinis, nasa stress ako. So, guluhin na lang natin. Dati iniisip ko kung meron bang like just one singular path to success. So, dapat ba design lang? Dapat ba illustration lang? Should I stick to one medium, like watercolor lang? Kasi sobrang sanay na yung mga tao sa work cost na ganun. Or dapat ba matuto ko ng completely ibang style, na kaya digital. So, I think normal yun for illustrators. Kasi syempre, parati mong ina-assess yung work mo. Kasi you want to do your best, diba? You want to come up with the best work every time. Um, pero nakaka-paralyze din yun. Anxiety na ganun. Kasi, diba, hindi ka makasettle or you're always doubting yourself. So, naka-affect din yun sa output mo. Yung ganong anxiety. At least for me. So, very comforting sa akin yung fact na ang dami kong idol na designers na gumagawa lang din ng kung ano-ano. So, na-inspire ako sa ganon kasi nakikita ko na na-enrich din naman ng iba nilang hobbies yung isa't isa. So, yung ibang examples is si Quercy Leo Leone. He's a world-renowned children's book writer. Pero bukod doon, dami niyang ibang ganap sa life. So, nag-painter siya, nag-sculptor, nag-photographer, work siya sa ad agency, art director siya, nag siya as a professor. Tapos, gumawa din siya ng children's book. So, yung ganun pagiging prolific, parang naisip ko, ah, okay, so... Gusto ko ganun. <laughs> well, gusto ko gan maging ganun kagaling na kaya kong ibigay yung good quality kahit anong side hustle ko. Ganun. So, yung iba pang example, uh, si Cora, si Andy Warhol, fine artist siya. Meron din siyang children's books. Si Paula Sher, nag-illustrate din ng children's books before. Uh, more recently, si Jessica Hish. Tapos, sa local, sobrang dami din kasi lahat naman tayo may side hustle. So, lahat ng uh, office mates ko sa Dialogo, si Sinaliza, Flores, Abigoy, Jamie Bauza. Lahat sila may children's books. Yung iba kong Friends from Inc. Uh, Electrolyte, may children's books din. Sa ko sila nakilala. Tapos, sino pa ba? So, mandami. Si Rommel Hoson, si Mika Bakani. Yan. Um, good designers, good children's book illustrators. Kasi, yung children's books naman, di naman kailangan. Yun lang yung ginagawa mo. Kung gusto mo gumawa iba. Diba? Um, ang daming influences na makukuha from other uh, subjects uh, or fields na magagamit mo din sa children's books. I try to keep myself on my toes creatively by reminding myself to play around from time to time. So, para hindi ako ma-stuck dun sa comfortable loop ko or sa kanakasanayan ko. Saka para may encourage din ako to have this beginner's mindset na marami pa akong pwedeng matutunan and improve sa work ko. Um... Pag masyado ko kasing siniseryoso yung sarili ko, parang napaparalyze ako. So, nire-remind ko yung sarili ko na hindi, kaya mo yan, mag-explore ka lang, mag-explore ka ibang medium, ng technique, try mo naman na ganitong way of working, di ba? Na, paano kung ganitong kulay naman? So, yung ganang switching things up, important sa akin. Um, Siyempre, sa portfolio, 
uh, kailangan consistent para reliable. Pero hindi naman necessarily consistent na kung isang medium lang or isang subject matter lang. Unless yun talaga yung goal mo. Um, yung consistency na gusto ko ma-achieve with my portfolio is kahit anong medium or subject matter or kind of client na gawin ko na, or gawan ko ng project, consistently good siya. So, yun yung goal ko for myself. So, ganun din pwedeng i-keep in mind when you want to experiment but also want to add stuff to your portfolio. One last piece of advice coming from 30-something me is to take care of your bodies. <laughs> um, dati nung 20, early 20s pa ako, kaya ko pa yung buong night, nagtatrabaho na almost every day, tapos wala akong sakit. Hindi ko alam kung paano ko ginagawa yun. Feeling ko sobrang invincible ko. Pero ngayon, 10 o'clock pa lang inaantok na ako. <laughs> So, bukod sa aging, syempre, if you keep pushing your body too hard that way, manghihina talaga yung sistema mo. So, if you want to do this thing for a long time, I suggest you try to take care of your bodies every time you work. So, uh, iway nyo rin yung projects if you feel that uh, it's going to take up too much of your physical energy and your mental health. Uh, so keep your physical health in intact and your mental health in check and check up on your friends also. So yeah. Thanks again for joining me today. So sana may natutunan kayo and sana nag-enjoy kayo and sana natawa kayo sa akin. Uh, I hope drawing and designing stuff can give you some sense of comfort during these very stressful times, diba? Kung madistract man niya kayo or mabigyan ng some sense of fulfillment, why not? Diba? We'll take every opportunity we can to keep ourselves sane during this situation. Uh, if you have questions, leave them in the comments below. And we'll be posting an activity soon. So you can use that activity to try out a new drawing technique you've always wanted to try or ibang ways of drawing if you already have uh, your usual way of drawing or if you have new materials you want to use, diba? Yung binili nyo sa art store na ang ganda-ganda tas hindi mo nyo naman ginamit. Ito na yung time, gamitin nyo. Or meron kayong sketchbook na maganda tas hindi nyo naman ginagamit. This is the time. <laughs> so, you can tag me at no be snow honey on Instagram and also at and a half so we can see your work. So, thanks again for watching. I'm Fran Alvarez from Kaintarazal, Region 4A, and this is Design Dialogues at Home.